Good evening, Zahra, and welcome to the Spotlight today with Uzma Bhutto. How are you doing? Good evening, Uzma. Thank you for having me. I'm doing really well. How are you? I'm good. I love your green scarf and the matching and the background. <laughs> it just happened. How long did it take you to decide what to wear? Um, maybe 20 minutes. Wow, that's great. Better than me. So Zahra, well, I love you. <laughs> uh, I think yes, just like you, because I wasn't decided yesterday. I was out for the dinner for the yeah. Eid celebration. So okay. yeah, similar like yours. All right. So Zohra, today we are going to let people know who CMW members and volunteers are. And okay, we are starting wonderful. with you today, tonight at 7 p.m. So tell us something about who Zohra is. You know, nobody has ever asked me that before, Uzma, so thank you. Well, I'm, Zora is a, is a fun-loving, adventurous, very inquisitive girl. Uh, I think I have the liberty to call myself girl today. Um, I'm a mother of two very amazing boys and um, married to a wonderful man. Uh, I, I, I just, I'm, I'm generally a very positive, um, a hopeful person. And uh, my friends and family tell me that it reflects in me. So, um, yeah, that's I'm a, sure a very simple person. People can see you on your smile. <laughs> All right. So, Zora, which country you are coming from? I, did you immigrate? Were you born here? Yes, I am from Pakistan. I came here about 17 years ago um, when I got married to my husband. And I was still doing my uh, bachelor's in Pakistan when I came to Canada. And these days, what are you doing? It's very interesting you asked me. So, um, I, you know, just like everybody else, uh, I got here, settled down in the life. Then I had kids, you know, the whole process. And uh, I, I, I landed on a job. And then one day uh, I thought to myself, you know what? I need to get a degree. I want to get a degree because it was a dream. Um, and it was a lifelong dream that I had when I came to Canada that, you know, I have to get a degree here. And it just always went in the background. I never pursued it. It was one after the other, one thing over the other. But one day out of nowhere, I said to myself, okay, you know, Laura, if you didn't do it now, you would never be able to do it. So um, Right now, I'm enrolled in an undergrad program at Laurier. So Did that is what I'm doing. Say, Zora, you mean to say now or never? Now or never, yeah. So do you believe, Zora, that degrees are really important for someone to prove themselves or get into a high-grade high profession or into the community? Of course not. Of course not. It it's totally depends on what your goal is. Uh, why, what is the reason behind you getting a degree? Uh, I remember when I was getting into it and I was talking to a lot of my peers and friends, um, I did come across this, uh, this, this very statement where people said that, oh, come on, Zora, you know, you really don't need a degree to pursue a career or move forward. And, uh, and like you said, Uzma, I don't think it is necessary. Well, of course, to a certain degree, to a certain extent, you need to be educated and you need to know where you're going. But um, to get a degree to prove yourself, no, I don't think so. Perfect. And we are going to believe you on that. And my next question would be, are you a morning person or a late person? Totally a morning person. Early yeah, I, I can't stay up after, after certain hours. I would just fall asleep. And you are a coffee person or a tea person? Neither. I have never had a sip of coffee. I've never had a sip of tea. And you are still surviving? I don't know what they taste like. You know, uh, coming from Pakistan, especially from Karachi, uh, I always get this. You're from Pakistan? You're from Karachi? And you don't drink tea? Not even coffee? How do you survive? I, well, I don't know what they taste like. And maybe I'm not hooked. And yeah, I, I enjoy my mornings without tea and coffee. Wonderful. So, yeah. so do you have a nickname? I do, actually. I do. My parents, my family call me Nina. Nina. And what does your name Zahra mean then? It means a, the brightest star. The brightest star. And you must have been the brightest star in the family and school? 
<laughs> well, I like to believe that. <laughs> okay, Zahra, let me ask you, uh, you. You said you don't love tea or coffee, but if you're going to a place where you get juice or coffee place, let's say you're sitting in Starbucks yeah. and you come to meet a celebrity, who yeah. would you want to meet? Oh, interesting. Not me, please. <laughs> <laughs> um... You know, I, I used to listen to, um, not anymore since the pandemic, because I just can't tune it on my TV. I used to listen to Jennifer Campbell on 570. And uh, one day on, um, it was a women's uh, award, Oktoberfest award. And uh, I happened to see her, I met her. And a uh, few weeks later, they invited this uh, Fazia Mazar and me, you know, coalitions representative for an interview so uh i was just really starstruck at that moment and i really enjoyed meeting it and then after she left the show i started listening to this other gentleman um on the show i forgot his name do you remember his name is it mike mike farwell yes so i would love to meet him someday yeah she's wonderful jennifer if you would ever listen to this interview we all <laughs> do from 570 and we know that you went to the radio station yeah. but we still love that energy that you left there so zohra my next question did you ever love somebody oh yeah and who would that yeah. be? i'm living with him <laughs> your life partner yeah so yeah. coming on that do you believe in love marriage or arranged marriages I know it's completely different in Canada and different places, but from Pakistan, you are coming. So how do you see that? Um, I think, Uzma, it's important to gel in basically, whether you, because I'm sure uh, uh, you and our viewers would agree that sometimes even the best of the love marriages don't work out. And sometimes the best of the arranged marriages don't work out. So it's, uh, I don't know, it's just fate or luck. I don't know, but yeah, I, I think it's just important to trust and respect and gel in together. That's it. Yes, perfectly. Yes, that's true. So Zora, how was your school, school life? What was your favorite subject in school? Oh, interesting. Um, <laughs> I was not the most studious kid, but I enjoyed uh, social studies. And I enjoyed um, arts. Arts. Yeah. And if I say to you that if you have a genie, just genie. like genie, yeah, <laughs> what would you wish for? Oh, I, I would wish for travel to be uh, like a blink of an eye. My parents live in Pakistan, and uh, well, I, I I go visit them every year. But, you know, sometimes there are moments and days where I just wish that it was not a 14-hour flight or now we're in the pandemic. So I'm, I'm really concerned when would be the next time I would get to see them. So yes. ease of travel. Yes. And that's so hard these days that it's it unpredictable. Is, yeah. We don't know when, when we are supposed to go, when is it allowed, how things are coming up. So talking mm -hmm. on traveling, Zora, which is the best country or city that you have traveled so far? Oh, I, um, last, last year, um, we went to a East Coast trip, uh, to Canada and, uh, I, I just fell in love with the East Coast. It's just beautiful, especially, uh, New Brunswick. That was my favorite. Wow. And, uh, we went whale watching there. So it was just, a, I think it, it was a larger than life experience to see those huge mammals. It was amazing. Yeah. So it shows that you love nature. I think so, yeah. Yeah. But when it comes to nature and materialism, what do you admire? What do you love the most? A little bit of both. I'm not going to lie. You know, we're all human beings. I, I can't just sit here and uh, say, oh, you know what? It's nature all the way. <laughs> A little bit of both. And lying is not allowed on this show. So please. Be <laughs> <laughs> all right. So Zora, let's say if you have a time machine and it takes you back to in the past or future, which year you would want to go to? Oh my God, Azma, where are you getting these questions from? I want I, you all to think. 
I, I, yeah, I've never thought about it. Uh, no, I've not thought about it. Now you have the time. Would you want to go in the past or do you want to see the future? Is there any particular year? I really can't think of anything. I'm in a would, uh, um, I think I, if, if I had the opportunity, I would visit all the people who were not with us anymore, maybe. Mm-hmm, yeah. Because that's the only part of uh, the past that I miss. Other than that, Alhamdulillah, all is good. Wonderful. Zona, what life is to you? Contentment. Uh, are you Contentment happy? and uh, gratefulness. And you are I think I believe if uh, anybody has to those two elements in their life, like they, they hold on to it very dearly, life is good. Life is good. What is death? When the word comes to you, what do you think of that? Sad. Sad. Not because, um, because the world is going to end for the person who's died, but the fact that the, 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 the dying person will leave behind uh, loved ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, do you have any regrets from life? Uh, no, no. I, I, in the beginning, I, um, when I started um, my undergrad program at Laurier uh, two years ago, I, I thought about it. I thought, you know what? I wasted all my years. I, I could have uh, started sooner on things. But then, uh, like I said, contentment came to me and uh, uh, gratefulness and thankfulness came to me. And I, I thought to myself, you know, um, there's time for everything. This was the right time for me. And hence, so no, alhamdulillah, no regrets either. Yeah. This is the best thing for anyone to live life to the chip very beautiful moment it's important not to have regret and to work out on the regrets so zora any favorite movie oh so many isma um uh, i i talk about english movies indian movies or netflix movies i'm binge watching shows here and there it's crazy because i'm on holidays these days um i have a semester break so i'm trying to soak in all the ease of life right now the kids are on break there's no waking up in the morning no running around so yeah it's it's a a lot of fun nobody bothering you so life is nobody's bothering me yeah are you more of a hollywood person or a bollywood person i say a little bit of both maybe maybe lollywood people would know later they will google it i would love to watch some pakistani movies but uh, unfortunately there are nowhere available i tried to buy uh, the cds or dvds but i guess they don't put it on dvds i don't know but i've stopped much watching bollywood it's um too much for my taste i would say so hollywood all the way i guess but i do occasionally enjoy uh, old um, bollywood music Yes, I was coming to the music. What kind of art do you inspire the most? What kind of art? Yes, what kind of art you would love? Is it music? Is it like uh, drawing, painting, calligraphy, dancing, yoga? Any kind of thing that you think that, okay, this is what I would love to do? You see, you know, um, I enjoy dancing, but I... (laughs) I know I have two left feet, so I can't dance, but I do enjoy dancing. I enjoy painting for sure. I enjoy listening to the music. Um, uh, Every time it rains, it brings out feelings of excitement in me that I don't know where where they reside. (laughs) So uh, like I said, I just, uh, I am generally a very positive and excited person. Wonderful. Zahra, mm-hmm. if I ask you, is there any person that is very close to you or you can trust on? Who would that be? You don't have to name it, maybe a friend or family or someone, but what background they would be from or they are from? Anyone that you can trust the most? I, uh, it's interesting. I don't just have one person. 
I have many, and uh, interestingly, there are from various backgrounds and from various walks of life, um, and they're great friends. I mean, it, they don't. I mean, they're not just Pakistanis or Canadians or or Somalis. I have great friends from all walks of life. And do you associate more more comfortably with men or female or anybody else? Who would be your choice that I'm more comfortable with? <laughs> I think I think men are just easier to deal with. There's okay. less drama. <laughs> well, watching out, please look for this. <laughs> <laughs> But um. I just can I can uh, talk to anyone. The opposite That's gender fine. always uh, relates to you. Not always. It just I just find them easier to communicate with. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah. I don't know why, but it, I just find them easier to communicate. The world yeah. is for the men today. <laughs> well, I guess because uh, I'm living with three boys. I have two boys, uh, um, nine and ten, two my my sons and a husband. So. I guess I'm the queen of the house as well. What can I say? Prove that living with the men. That's why. Uh, but yeah. Yes, we respect yeah. the men in our lives. Zohra, any favorite quote from a movie, from book, or any poetry? Any any favorite quote? <laughs> I'm not the yeah. most intellectual not these not days. Um, not at the moment, but I remember when I was um, when I was growing up. I was in um, high school and uh, college. I I used to read a lot, and I had this big of a notebook where I would write quotations from various uh, books that I've read, from novels that I've read. Uh, so I can't think of any right now, but yeah. I guess yeah. promise was my all-time favorite, and um, Eric Segal's love story, I believe. Yeah, talking on the books and like different uh, ideas. If you ever write a book, what would be the book on? I life, I believe. Life as as I see it. life as i have lived it so far um life as it has evolved for me so yeah life kind of autobiography yeah something like that yeah your favorite politician <laughs> i don't have any you don't have to be political person right now no i really don't have any um uh yeah i can't think of anybody no If I compare Justin Trudeau, the Prime Minister of uh, our country, and then yeah. Prime Minister of Pakistan, Imran Khan, who would you choose? Justin Trudeau, all the way. Oh, you know, Imran Khan. Sorry. <laughs> I believe last year uh, Trudeau was in Kishner downtown, and uh, I wanted to take a picture with him. So you know, I, I would. There was. It was so busy just to get to those streets. So I thought to myself, you know what, Zora. Maybe once he's not in the presidency anymore, he's no longer the prime minister. I'm going to find him and take a picture with him. I find him really cute. Yeah, dream come true. And my husband knows that. Okay, perfect. So, so <laughs> Ura, right now, I'm very excited to play a quick round with you. We okay. You have to think too much, and okay. you have to answer right away. All right. Are you ready? Ready. Okay. What's the most out outrageous thing you have ever done? Oh, bungee jumping. Okay, what is one thing that you will call your weakness? Food. When the word woman come to you, what do you think? Strong. Canada has given to you home. One word for politicians. <laughs> Listen up, guys. Take it easy. When you think of Pakistan, what is the most thing, most important thing that you miss about Pakistan? Ami Abu. Mom, dad, your parents. Can you sing your favorite song or poetry? Ah, uh, yeah. Come on, Laura, you can do it. Do it. Ah, um, uh, I can't think of a song right now, but yeah, I do sing along songs. Can we come back to it after? Sure. If you can copy someone, who would that be? Copy somebody. No one. 
you have never thought of someone that you can make some little copy of fun of? No, people make my fun. People copy me, uh, but no, I have never. Okay, Zora, my next question. With the words make up, wake up, seven up, look up, break up, what is that word with up that comes to your mind? <laughs> I don't know. You know, okay, not around. <laughs> mash That's interesting. Up. Yeah, mash up. Mash up, yeah. If you could spend time in someone's shoes, who the person would be? My husband. And why is that? I um, um I, I he's a thinker, okay, and I'm not. I'm very spontaneous, and he. Um, he thinks about his every single step. So sometimes I wonder what goes in his head. I need to find out. And he cannot share things until they are done through the thinking process. So my husband, I guess. Yeah. And I'm sure he, or I hope that he listens to this interview so that he knows how much you love him. He better. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful session of this quick round. And now, Zora, let's come to the questions again. Yeah. What are the three most websites that you see daily, whether it's an iPhone or um, Google, Code Fusion, and uh, I don't know, Hotmail maybe? <laughs> Hotmail, maybe checking your emails from. <laughs> yeah. What would you do if you win a jackpot? Oh, I have this um, dream of uh, building a huge old age home um, in Pakistan. So that is what I'm going to do. That's so beautiful thoughts. That's yeah. amazing. If you are allowed to invent a new holiday, what that holiday would be? <laughs> I'm chillaxing today. You don't want to think? <laughs> No, that is, would be the name of the holiday. Okay, I'm ch chill. I am chillaxing today. Chillaxing today, chillaxing day. Yeah. <laughs> maybe our uh, Ontario province would think of this. I mean, yeah, maybe. Yeah. I believe that we are missing one holiday in a month. If we don't have twelve like holidays, it, in every month we have one holiday. Yeah, I think so. We need Happy that. Day or a, something, a, yeah. Or a just because day. Yes, just because, just because we said. What is your favorite holiday? What's my favorite holiday? Um, I think I enjoy a family day weekend because it comes right in the start of winter. And uh, I think it's a good break. Are yeah. So what to winter? I like winter, but when it gets to crazy temperatures, then it gets it gets a bit too much what do you love the most about winter season i enjoy skiing uh so my son and i we go skiing uh and as as many times as we get uh i just generally enjoy the um, the snowfall feel and the look and all my husband does it <laughs> shovel maybe <laughs> shovel and snowblower and all that but yeah I, I enjoy winter you know I've I've um I've grown up with the phrase if you can't beat them join them so we live in this part of the world where this mostly winter so yeah might as well become friends with it right yes that's true so yeah. what is that one video station that you listen while driving uh, uh the one I talked about um, 5, 7, 5.70 a.m. 5.70 is, I think, the most famous. Mike Farwell, my guy. Yes. He and my husband knows that, knows that too. He listens to? Yes, he does. Because I told him to. Good job. Good job, Zora. Uh, Zora, any best gift that you have ever received in life? Hmm. Uh, I cherish all of my gifts, Uzma. I can't, I don't know. I if there's something that I can really take and uh, put it close to my heart, yeah, no, all of them. If you would ever want to receive now 
in the COVID time, any gift, what would that be? Uh, Think carefully, Zora, you might get a gift from somebody. <laughs> you know, um, I, I wish there would be somebody who would cook for us every day because I don't want to cook anymore. <laughs> and yeah. talking on cooking, I was going to ask that what is that one chore in the house that you want to give up? One show. Oh, interesting. Um, I love all of them as well. Don't do that to me. You love all the, all the chores in the house? Oh, chores. I'm sorry. I heard shows. No. Oh, laundry, hands down. Not the cooking. Not the cooking. Because I enjoy cooking, but I don't like it. Like doing it every day, basically. And I guess because the kids are home, the husband's home working, uh, everybody's in the kitchen all the time. So it just gets a bit too much. That's true. Zora, talking on the gift, you are going to get this beautiful belt. I'm going to hide the price. This is a pure leather belt made in Canada. And I want everyone who's watching this interview, if you comment below, if you like the interview, what do you expect us to ask them? Please do so because you are going to get the same belt this is a small uh, very nice gift and then you are going to be one of the lucky winners you can pick it up from the family center do contact me or do contact cmw uh -huh. zora i will definitely drop you you don't have to pick it from the family center oh That's you're so kind as well <laughs> so Zora, when we talk about the women and CMW, Coalition of Muslim Women, is a women-based organization, but we do have our male allies, our volunteers who always support us. Why did you join Coalition of Muslim Women? Interesting question, Uzma. Um, I joined the coalition. I was in a phase of my life where I just had my second child and... Uh, I was home taking care of the family, the, 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 ki the children, I have two boys, and they're uh, close together in age, about uh, a year and a half apart. So um, my second child was maybe four months or at the max six months when um, a dear friend of mine, Sada Shafiq, she just asked me, oh, Zora, do you know about this organization, Coalition of Muslim Women? And, um, they do wonderful things and they're always looking for volunteers. So they're having an um, event. Why don't you come and just hang out with me? It will be a nice change. So basically, I just wanted to get out of the house to do something different for a change. And uh, Sara brought me to one of the June events that the coalition was holding at the city hall. Uh, that's how I came in contact with the coalition. And when I met these wonderful, amazing women. And uh, even though I was just a volunteer and a new volunteer who was meeting all these ladies for the first time, the warm welcome I got, the sense of community and belonging and hugs and love and appreciation. So I thought to myself, who are these women? <laughs> You know, they, they, just, uh, they just seemed um, out of this world. I had never met this amazing bunch of women who just were very focused and dedicated and driven. Uh, so I remember exiting from my whatever shift I got to work on. I was leaving and I, I received a thank you card with, um, with, with a little goodie bag along with it, like a parting gift. And again, a lot of thank yous. And I said, you know what? I would love to come again and do this for you. Oh, she said, would you like to join the Coalition of Muslim Women? I, I remember it was Samia Muhammad that I was talking to the entire time and uh, Ghazala. Uh, so Samia said, uh, Zora, would you like to come again and uh, uh, join the coalition? I said, yeah, I would love to. I was just so impressed and inspired by these women. And a few weeks later, I got a phone call or an email that said that, you know, we're doing an orientation if you would like to join in. The rest is all history as well. That's how I do it. I believe that's the best time and the best thing 
for coalition and for you too, because I've seen you for years now. And not only coalition bring, bring the strong women to work for the organization and to build their skills, but they end up in becoming beautiful friends, like a family. True. Absolutely. So we all are blessed to have these wonderful ladies. And for this Coalition of Muslim Women, thank you so much for bringing a family together. Absolutely. Laura, do you see any organization that works closer like the CMW is? Or similar events in our community or nearby areas? Have you ever come across? Uh, not personally. But uh, I, I think um, a, a lot of the organizations are doing similar work, like uh, uplifting women and, uh, you know, encouraging them, empowering them. Uh, a lot of the organizations are doing that. They are doing amazing work, whether it's mm -hmm. for one gender or it's for the diversity or for mm -hmm. anybody's rights and advocacy. They are doing amazing work and hats off to all the people working out in the organization to making this community a beautiful place. Zora, if I would ask you to give a message to women listening to you out, what would you want to deliver to them? Just one small thing. And what is give that? Give yourself importance. You are important. You are very important. We, as women, we put everybody's importance first. And by the time we think it's going to be our turn, the first shift is already ready for a round two. So we put ourselves in the background. I have come to learn, and I believe, that if I I'm not going to give myself importance. If I am not going to take care of myself, I will not be able to take care of my loved ones. So that is a simple message. You are important. Treat yourself as like that. That's it. This is such a strong word. And yes, definitely women need to look for themselves, look after themselves, care and think and realize, make yourself realize who you are. Yeah. Zora, and talking on the women, a message towards them, I would ask you, what is one message that you want to give to the community, whether it's diverse community, whether it's a larger community, what message you would want to have them from Zora? Let go of the differences. Let's live and let live and come together as family. Uh, you know, um, we as Muslims believe that together we are 11 and individually we're just one. And I think a lot of people believe that. It's not just a Muslim faith who believes that. Everybody believes, a lot of the communities and religious backgrounds, they believe that together is strength. Uh, so I think as a community, I've been living in Kishman Barber for, um, Wow, 14, uh, 14 years now. And uh, I have, I have um, yeah, this place is home. I cannot imagine myself living anywhere else, anywhere else, uh, you know, not even Pakistan. So, well, there's another uh, a bunch of reason for that. But um, yeah, I think just we all need to quit our differences and embrace each other and become each other's strength. This is beautiful, Zora. Thank you. And the message is so powerful. And I hope people are going to listen to this interview. My dear people out in the community and CMW, do write your comments under this session tomorrow at 7 p.m. How was, how was Zora's answers? And what would you like us to ask next from our guests and um, ladies or men or volunteers who are coming? So tomorrow we will have Ikram Al Mumani at 7 p.m. And Zora, I would say good night to you with a beautiful, with a huge thank you to you. This was beautiful to have you. And I hope and I wish you all the best for your studies and for your future. Thank, thank you, you for joining Coalition of Muslim Women. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Unta, for inviting me for this lovely interview and making it so much fun. This was amazing. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you, Zora. Enjoy the rest of the evening and enjoy the rest of the week. Good night. All right. Good night. Good night.